Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today we will solve numerical related to transient analysis of pipes and relief valves or the devices. The question is a hydroelectric power channel is fed through a concrete line tunnel of 4.9 meter diameter operating under gross head of 195 meter. The discharge through the tunnel is 28 meter cube per second. A source tank of 295 meter square has been provided at the end of the tunnel. Head loss due to friction under steady state flow condition is 2% of gross head. Assuming friction factor of the tunnel is to be 0.015, find in one number the total length of tunnel in second. Maximum of surge in the tank in the third, maximum downsurge in the tank and at the last calculate factor of safety of the tank and ascertain whether it is adequate. So let's start solving this. The maximum of surge and downsurge in tunnel is calculated using the formula. Z max times of 1 minus 2 by 3 P naught plus 1 by 9 P naught whole square. Whereas Z max downsurge equals Z max times of minus 1 plus twice of P naught. Where P naught equals HF is divided by Z max and Z max equals QT is divided by AST whole root LAST is divided by GAT. This can be written as P naught AT is divided by a S T root over L A S T is divided by G A T. Or Z max equals P naught L A T is divided by G A S T whole root. Now the velocity of flow in tunnel can be given as V naught equals Q is divided by AT that is discharge by area and it's now placing the value on this discharge is 28 and A is pi d square 4.9 whole square pi 4 where a equals pi d square by 4 on solving this the velocity v naught equals 1.4848 meter per second now the head loss due to friction HF HF equals FL V naught square is divided by 2 G D now substituting the value HF equals 2% of 195 that is 2% of gross head equals the value of friction is 0 0.015 into L into V naught is calculated as 1.4848 whole square is divided by 2 times of 9.81 into the value of D is 4.9
on calculating this the L equals L equals one one three three seven point nine meter equals eleven point three three kilometer now Z max equals now substituting the value of uh, v naught l and a t in our of equation that is 1.4848 uh, is whole root over length 11337.9 into a area is pi by 4 times of d square is 4.9 whole square is divided by g is 9.81 and area is 295 area of sustain on solving this it the result will be 12.752 meter and p naught equals hf is divided by z max equals the value of hf is 2% of 195 that is gross it is divided by z max x 12.752 equals 0.30558 now the maximum up source can be calculated as So this is equal to Z max times of 1 minus 2 by 3 P naught plus 1 by 9 times of P naught whole square because the value of Z naught is 2 will 7, 6, 2 times of 1 minus 2 by 3 times of 0 0.30558 plus 1 by 9 times of 0 0.3 Zero five five eight whole square. On solving this, the value of Z max of surge equals ten point two nine four seven meter. Again, for the maximum. down source um, Z max Z max down source equals Z max times of minus 1 plus 2 P naught because the value of Z max is this one 12.7 5 2 times of minus 1 plus 2 times of the value of p dot is 0 0.30558 in solving this the value of z max down source equals minus 4.9625 meter as z max down source A is negative in this case is the water level during down source will be below the reservoir level Now, using Thoma formula, A S T is greater or equals to T L L V naught square is divided by two G S times of H G minus H F equals pi by four times four point nine whole square 
into one one three three seven point nine into one point four eight four eight whole square is divided by twelve into zero point zero two into one nine five times of one nine five minus zero point zero two times of one nine five on solving this this there will be thirty two point two three four eight meter square which satisfy AS T is greater than now factor of safety safety is equal to AST is divided AST that is 295 is divided by 32.2348 equals 9.15 which is much more -E 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 required So on calculating the factor of safety, the factor of safety is much more adequate with the given data. So for this time we end up the video up to this. We will come again with one new video. Till then keep on watching our channel and don't forget to subscribe us. Thank you.